Here's everything you need to know about the special housing category on Facebook ads, if it affects you and how you can get around it. A few years ago, Facebook introduced the housing category um, along with some other categories uh, to do with their Facebook advertising. And basically what this means is um, that some targeting options are restricted for specific types of adverts to try and prevent discrimination and things like that. So how do you know if your ad comes under this special housing advert category? So this is exactly what Facebook have said. Ads that promote or directly link to a housing opportunity or a related service, including but not limited to listings for sale or rental of a home or flat, homeowners insurance, mortgage insurance, mortgage loans, housing repairs and home equity or appraisal services. This does not include ads designed to educate consumers or housing providers about their rights and responsibilities under fair housing laws. So basically what this means is if your advert comes under this category, you will be hit with a bunch of restrictions in terms of targeting. And I can see why Facebook have done this is to prevent people from being discriminated against. So you can't choose their gender, you can't choose their age, you can't choose anything like that when you're targeting where you want your adverts to be placed or who you want to see them. But this does make it really difficult for us advertisers who are trying to post adverts within the property industry. Because obviously some properties, some people just simply won't be able to afford, but you now can't target these people, um, which is basically just means you're going to be wasting a lot more of your money uh, when you're spending on ads. You can target location, but it has to be within a 15 kilometer radius, which makes it a lot more difficult if you're going for a very specific city. Um, it might show it to people who are coming and going from the city, who aren't living in that city. So what ads are actually affected? So Facebook's description is a little bit vague. So if you're posting any type of property listings and that's rental or sale, or even if you are a deal sourcer um, trying to post your property deals for investors, that comes under the category as well, which makes it really difficult for deal sources um, because you know you need to be targeting people who've got the money to invest in your properties. Uh, any mortgage services, so mortgage advisors, mortgage brokers, um, banks, they, they all be coming under this category. Uh, it's, it also applies if you're trying to find off-market property deals. So if you're posting about trying to find um, homes that are you know, run down that you can purchase off market, um, not through estate agents. Those adverts will also be under this category, which is quite difficult because you used to be able to target people. Um, for instance, if people had recently divorced, that was quite a good one to target because um, they might be more likely to be selling their home um, and they might want a quick sale. Now you can't do that. You have to only target by location. Um, and there's a few interests that you can still target with, but they're pretty much pointless for property ads. So what ads are actually not affected by this? So what can you still do when using Facebook ads and target really nicely? So you can promote education. So courses, one-to-one -one mentorship. I'm sure you might have seen people like Samuel Leeds using Facebook ads for his one pound property um, events and things like that. Again, people who are looking for property investors. So if you're a deal sourcer, you can't post your deals directly to Facebook. However, you will be able to use Facebook ads to potentially find investors to join your email list or join your um, list of investors. Um, and you can do this by posting things like lead magnets or just directly advertising, looking who's looking to invest in this area sort of thing. Um, so that's a really good way of getting around it for deal sources. And finally, you can actually promote Airbnbs and hotels. Um, this doesn't come under the category, so you don't have any of these restrictions on you, um, which is actually quite nice if you have a serviced accommodation, Airbnb type business, you can still target, if your target audience is you know young couples, you can still do that and target people in, in that sort of area. So that's really good for Airbnb um, owners. 
So what will actually happen to you if you don't comply with these advertising rules? Uh, so basically, Facebook will likely not run your ad, but not only that, they'll probably flag your ad account and potentially even ban you from running ads in the future. So you definitely do not want to be caught out by this. Don't think you can get around it just by you know being a bit clever with your creative and things like that because uh, real people will come and moderate these ads if they're flagged. Um, and it's very annoying, but unfortunately there's no way around it. So what, what actually are the restrictions in place uh, from the housing category? So basically you won't be able to target demographics at all. So you can target location uh, within, a, within a certain radius, 15 kilometers. However, demographics are not allowed at all. Uh, another thing is interests and jobs. You won't be able to target that at all. Um, there are very few interests that you can still use, but they're very much pointless for us people trying to use ads in the property industry, especially uh, in terms of deal sources, um, HMOs and, and property investors. They're just pretty much pointless now. So what does this actually mean for us in the property industry? Uh, it basically means that Facebook ads, unless you know a way around it, you're going to have to basically not target anyone by interests or demographics. So this can still work, but you are going to need like much higher budgets. Um, you're going to have to have really strong creatives, really strong copy, and you're going to need to be maximizing your budget because you are going to be wasting a lot more on people who just simply would never spend money or, or go for your ad anyway. Is there any ways that you can get around the advertising category, the housing category? Sometimes you might be able to be a little bit resourceful and get around some of these advertising restrictions. So if you're using Facebook ads as a tool for selling property deals to investors, as I mentioned earlier, you simply need to just break the process down into separate stages. So instead of directly promoting your property listing on an advert by here, you might be able to instead use it to get investors to join your list here be a member of your list and then sell them the deal through your list. So you just need to break it down into separate steps. Um, so it's still possible to make money using Facebook ads. You just need to be a lot more creative with how you do this and your business and things like that. So guys, if you found this video useful or if you learned something, um, I'd really appreciate it if you followed me. I'm gonna be posting a lot more marketing and advertising and digital tips specifically for property investors in the UK at the moment. Um, some of my information might apply to other countries, but the, my videos are specifically for property investors and entrepreneurs in the UK. Um, if you want to join my mailing list, uh, I've set up a bit of a, a freebie that you can get right now. It's a social media ideas calendar, pretty much. So if you join in the description below, you'll get your hands on that for free. Um, which I probably will put up for sale in the future on my website, which I'm building at the moment. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Follow me for more and thanks.